Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are continuing with the work and energy. Okay, so in last topic, we finished in all the theory questions and in text questions, isn't it? So today we are starting with the numericals, that is exercise questions in both that chapter. Okay, so first one is uh, page number 158. Look at the activities listed below. Reason out whether or not work is done in the light of your understanding of the term work. Okay, so work is done or not. How we will identify whether work is done or not? See, if by we are applying a force, work displacement should happen in the same direction of force. Isn't it? Then only we can see work is done on the system. Or if F and S are perpendicular, then no work. Work then is zero. Or we can say if F and S are, if F is equal to zero also, work then will be equal to zero. Displacement is not there also, work then will be equal to zero. Okay, so these are the basic things which you should know about the work done. Okay, first one is, Suma is swimming in a pot. By swimming in a pot, so work is done on the system. Yes, work is done doing because force is applied in the direction of force. Uh, work is done. So work is done on the system. Okay. Then next is a donkey is carrying a load on its back. Okay. Donkey carrying load. See, so it's standing there. Displacement is equal to zero. So work then will be equal to zero. Carrying the load. Isn't it? Load is carrying by the uh, donkey. Isn't it? Load is carrying by the donkey. It's no displacement, just carrying and standing. So work then will be equal to zero over there. A windmill is lifting water from the well. So lifting water. So force is applying according to that it is lifting it is coming up also displacement is happening so work is done over there okay the next one is a green plant is carrying out photosynthesis so say displacement is happening so, but any forces are is there no isn't it so we can say work that will be equal to zero the next is an engine is pulling a train. Engine is pulling and it's moving also. So train is moving, isn't it? When engine is pulling the train, train is moving. So work is done on the system. Okay. Then food grains are getting dried in the sun. For that any force and displacement are there? No. Therefore, work that will be zero. Then same board is moving due to wind energy. Board is wind is moving, wind is applying, board is, board is moving in the same direction of the wind. So work is done on the system. Okay, so these are the cases. This is just understand this theory. Then you can write out whether work is done or not. Okay, next second one. An object is thrown at a Certain angle to the ground moves in a curved path and falls back to the ground. The initial and final points of the path of the object lie on the same horizontal line. What is the work done by the force of gravity on the object? So an object is, we are throwing an object here, it is falling on the same horizontal level. So the displacement is, this is the initial position, this is the final position. For object, what will be the, this is the displacement and what will be the force acting on it? The force is mg, which is acting downwards. Isn't it? mg is the gravitational force acting on the object and displacement is happening in this direction. So both are perpendicular to each other. So work then will be equal to zero. Okay? Now the third one, a battery lights a bulb. Describe the energy that changes involved in the process. So battery lights a bulb. So battery means it has chemical. So chemical energy is converting to, yes, chemical energy 
converting to electrical energy. That electrical energy is converting to light energy. First it is converting to heat energy and then light energy also you can say. Or you can write down directly as a heat energy. It's a heat energy plus light energy. It is forming heat energy plus light energy. That also fine. Okay. But in the inside the battery, chemical is there. So chemical energy is converting to electrical energy. And electrical energy is converting to heat energy plus light energy. Okay. So the next one is fourth one. A certain force acting on a 20 kilogram mass changes its velocity from 5 meter per second to 2 meter per second. Calculate the work done. So mass of the object is given as 20 kilogram. Okay. Then its velocity changes from 5 meter per second to 2 meter per second. So initial velocity is 5 meter per second and final velocity is 2 meter per second. What is the work done by the source? Work done, how we can find out the work done? Force into displacement we will think. But we have we don't have force with us, displacement also not with us. Now how we can find out the work done? Another quantity we know, energy will be equal to work done. Isn't it? For, in, by finding out the kinetic energy and potential energy, we found out the work done. And work done is converting to energy we do. So to find out the work done, we can find out the energy required for this process. While the object is in motion, what will be the energy? It will be kinetic energy. So change in kinetic energy will be giving the work done by the process. So it is equal to change in kinetic energy. So change in kinetic energy is half m v square minus half m u square. What does half? Half m is common. We can write it as v square minus u square. So half m is 20, v is 2 square minus 5 square. So we will get it as 10 into 4 minus 25. So we have we will get it as minus 2 and joule. Okay, clear how we are finding out this one? So the next one is fifth one. A mass of 10 kilogram is at a point A on a table. It is moved to a point B. If the line joining A to B is horizontal, what is the work done on the object by the gravitational force? See, an object of mass, it's on the table, an object of mass 10 kilogram is put on the table on point A. Okay, and if it is moved to the point B, it is moving to the point B. Work done by the gravitational force. Gravitational force will be acting downwards. Isn't it? So the displacement is happening in this direction. What is the angle between these two? 90 degree. Therefore, work done will be equal to zero. Okay, clear? This is the same like second question. Okay, next is sixth one. The potential energy of a freely falling object decreases progressively. Does this violate the law of conservation of energy by potential energy? And while an object is falling down, its potential energy is decreasing. Conservation will it affect the kinetic energy? That's what it, uh, conservation of energy? No, because as potential energy decreases, kinetic energy will be increasing. Okay, so the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy will always remain constant. So it won't be violating law of conservation of energy. Okay, clear? So as potential energy decreases, kinetic energy will increase. As kinetic energy decreases, potential energy will increase. Okay, clear? So the next one is, what are the various energy transformation that occur when you are riding a bicycle. When you are riding a bicycle, what is happening? Your mechanical energy is converting to kinetic energy. Isn't it? Or we can say your muscular energy. 
muscular energy that is converting to mechanical energy and that one is converting to kinetic energy. So next is muscular energy is muscular energy is converting to kinetic energy. It's under motion. Okay. So it is converting to kinetic energy. So the next one is eighth one. Does the transfer of energy take place when you push a huge rock with all your might and fail to move it? Where is the energy you spent going? So you are transferring, you are trying to move a rock. It is not moving. So you are doing some work. Work, you are as per, you see you are wasting its energy. Not doing any work because displacement is zero, so work that will be equal to zero. Since the displacement is zero, work that will be equal to zero. But where is your energy gone? Your energy used to resist the frictional force. Okay, so that energy is basically has to overcome the frictional force it is using. Okay, understood? The next is ninth one. A certain whole household has consumed 250 units of energy during a month. How much energy is thus in Joule? See, household unit, how we will be kind of finding out the energy in household unit, 20 units is. That is how much? 250 units. 250 units means it will be in kilowatt. Similar. 250 kilowatt hour. Okay, how we can convert that into Joule? Yes. 250 into 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 1 kilowatt hour equals 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 so we can multiply 25 into 36 so you will get 900.6 into 10 to the power 6 or we can write it as 9 into 10 to the power 8 joule okay clear so next one is 10th one, an object of mass 40 kilogram is raised to a height of 5 meter above the ground. What is the potential energy? If the object is allowed to fall, find its kinetic energy when it is half way down. How we can find out this one? 10th one, an object of mass 40 kilogram mass equals 40 kilogram is raised to a height of 5 meter above the ground so height is 5 meter what is the potential energy potential energy what is the formula m g h so m is 40 g is acceleration due to gravity it is 9.8 meter per second square into 5 so this one we will get it as 200 into 9.8 so you will get it as 1960 joule this is the potential energy now if the object is allowed to fall when its kinetic energy find its kinetic energy when it is halfway down when it is coming to the half way. So, in half, total energy will always remain constant. Here it will be potential energy alone. Here it is potential energy plus kinetic energy. What is the loss in potential energy will be converting to kinetic energy? Isn't it? When it is half way down, what will be the potential energy? Potential energy at half way down. That will be just half of this one isn't it so you will get it as 980 joule so this is the potential energy so what is the loss in potential energy over there this is 980 joule so that loss in potential energy will be equal to gain in kinetic energy because how much more potential energy it is losing that will be converted into kinetic energy using conservation of energy using conservation of energy. So what will be the gain in kinetic energy over there? 980 joule. So here you should understand the understand concept that whatever the energy loss in put as potential energy will be converting as kinetic energy. Okay. So the next one is 
What is the work done by the force of gravity on a satellite moving around the earth? Justify your answer. Work done will be zero over there. It's a force acting on it, but the force and displacement will be perpendicular to each other. So the work done will be equal to zero. In the case of the work done by force of gravity on a satellite moving around the earth. So this is earth and satellite is moving around it. So it is moving in such a way and earth will be attracting. So both will be perpendicular to each other. So it is the tangent will be perpendicular, right? So it is uh, work that will be equal to zero. So next one is, can there be displacement of an object in the absence of any force acting on it? Discuss this question with your friends and teacher. Can there be a displacement of an object in the absence of any force acting on it? Can, see, if any displacement will be there in the absence of force, see, F is equal to 0. When F will be equal to 0, then that is acceleration mass can be, can't be equal to 0. We know that M is equal to 0. M cannot be equal to 0, therefore A will be equal to 0. When acceleration will be equal to 0, if the object is not moving, that case we can't answer because can there be any displacement? That is the question. Or we can say if velocity is constant, then acceleration will be equal to 0. So if an object is moving with constant velocity, there can be displacement, but the force acting will be equal to zero. Okay, clear? So those are the exercise questions in page number 158. Now some more questions are there in page number 159. That one we will do in the next video. Okay, so clear all of you? It's easy, right? Here in this chapter, you should understand only these questions. Potential energy equals MGH. Kinetic energy equals half mv square and work done will be equal to energy and power will be equal to work done divided by time. Okay, so remember all these formulas. Okay, so if you like the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.